Hello everyone, I am Professor Vagmadi Bia <coughs> from Agronomy Department. Today we can see the topic on crop production uh, technology of uh, uh, groundnut. Uh, you can see here uh, the first one botanical name of uh, uh, groundnut that is the uh, Arichis hypogea and the uh, family leguminaceae and the origin Brazil. Uh, next one, the uh, area and distribution. As the groundnut is the uh, important uh, seed crop, uh, which will be the uh, or the uh, also the as a source of protein. Uh, the major groundnut growing uh, areas that is tropical and the subtropical conditions, and the most important groundnut. Uh, uh, growing countries are India, uh, Nigeria, China, USA and the Sudan and it is cultivated over uh, an area of uh, 24.7 million hectare with the total production 33 million ton and the average productivity that is uh, 1336 kg per hectare in the world. As the India ranks uh, first in terms of the area and the China uh, in the terms of production, the India uh, in India groundnut is grown in Gujarat. Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, UP and the Punjab. In the highest area under the cultivation of groundnut uh, is in the Gujarat followed by the Andhra Pradesh and the Karnataka. However, the average uh, productivity is more in Tamil Nadu that is 1659 uh, kg per hectare. And the next one uh, that is the econo economic importance of uh, uh, groundnut. Uh, groundnut uh, that is the uh, major uh, 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 called as uh, the peanut uh, or the monkey nut, uh, earth nut or the moongfali. As is the, uh, it is the important oyster crop, uh, it ranks first among the, all the other uh, oyster crops and the important source uh, of uh, food, feed, and nutrition and the fodder. Then groundnut kernels uh, uh, contains the 25 percent protein and the it was the uh, 1.3 uh, times higher than the soybean and 2.5 to 2 uh, times uh, higher than the eggs and 8 times higher than the fruits. The oil content in groundnut kernels ranges from 40 to 50 percent and it is used for cooking purpose and also the making one as the ghee. And the groundnut halums uh, makes a very palatable uh, fodder for the uh, cattle and the, it also fed with the farm hay as well as the uh, after converting into the silage. The halums are the rich uh, in nutrients uh, contain about the 8 to 11 percent protein and the uh, groundnut kernels are mostly roasted, uh, eaten in the form of roasted and they are also fried uh, uh, and the salted. And then groundnut milk uh, or curd or the butter and the chutney is prepared from the raw groundnut kernels. Then groundnut is rich source of the thiamine and riboflavin and the vitamin E. And it is also the good source of uh, all the vitamin B uh, uh, complex as, uh, except the vitamin 12. And the oil cakes uh, obtained after the extraction of uh, uh, oil, uh, it serves as a good source of organic matter and also contains the 7.8% nitrogen, 1.5% phosphorus and 1.5% potassium. It is also the good uh, crop rotation uh, or it can be used as good rotation crop or cover crop and it fixes the atmospheric uh, nitrogen through the root nodules and they also acts as good cover crop as uh, it helps to reduce, uh, reduce the erosion of soil as well as the in situ moisture conservation. Then groundnut acts as an erosion resisting crop as it uh, grows uh, horizontally or as a erectophile or along with the ground it helps to protect the soil from the eroded, uh, erosion and also the oil uh, of the groundnut is also used in the beauty aids, saving cream and the as well as the cold cream and then bittering uh, taste in groundnut kernels due to the presence of fungus uh, that is called as the aspergillus uh, flowers and the aspergillus flowers causes the aplatoxin in groundnut and these uh, aspergillus flowers uh, fungus uh, develops in uh, groundnut kernels when the moisture uh, content uh, is less than 4 percent. Uh, we can see the next one that is classification of uh, uh, groundnut we can see that there are two types of uh, species of groundnut. Uh, there is uh, one the erect or the uh, bunch type and the 
next one that is the uh, uh, same spreading type. Uh, in this case, uh, you can see here the erect and bunch type uh, grounded uh, are, uh, are having the seed dormancy is uh, absent, and the early uh, this is the early maturing species. Uh, and also the in spreading, semi spreading or spreading type uh, grounded uh, uh, the seed dormancy is present, and the uh, these are the late type uh, maturing type uh, species. And next one you can see the soil and climate uh, in in this case uh, the uh, soil and climate uh, in, in soil and climate there is a majorly for especially groundnut cultivation uh, the soils required a uh, sandy loam is preferred for the uh, groundnut cultivation because of uh, you know, better in, uh, penetration of the pegs uh, as well as the development of pod as uh, you can see here in detail that is in case of soil the groundnut uh, thrives best well on the well drained and fertile soils then sandy loam are the ideal for uh, groundnut cultivation because of the better penetration of the pegs or entry of pegs and the development of pod in light soils uh, uh, helps in the easy penetration of pegs, their development and the harvesting of pots. Then clay and uh, clay or heavy soils are the most suitable as they uh, interfere in the uh, penetration of the pegs development. Then also harvesting of the pots become uh, difficult. That's why the clay or the heavy soils are not suitable for the groundnut cultivation. Then soils should have the high water holding capacity, then water holding soils are not suitable. Then saline soils are also uh, uh, not ideal for the groundnut cultivation and in case of the climate as the groundnut is a tropical crop it requires the hot and humid climate and also requires the warm weather and the optimum temperature required for the vegetative growth is the 27 to 30 degrees Celsius and the reproductive growth uh, uh, that is required uh, 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 30 to 34 degrees Celsius and the during ripening period groundnut requires uh, warm and dry weather. Uh, next point uh, you can see here uh, that is the land preparation uh, the sorry seeds and sowing. As in case of uh, groundnut there are two types of species that is bunch type uh, groundnut and the spreading type as in uh, bench type they requires 120 kg per hectare seed rate and the spreading type that is 100 kg per hectare and the spacing required for bench type uh, that is 30 to 100 kg sorry uh, 30 to uh, 30 by 10 centimeter and the spreading type that is 30 by 15 centimeter as uh, we can say here the difference between the uh, spacing with respect to the species because of their growth habit as a bunch uh, is the Eric growth habit, we can see a photograph and the spreading type there is a uh, spread along the ground and uh, it will be elongated or spread uh, all over the field. Uh, uh, it requires the more uh, area for its uh, growth and development and as you can see in uh, uh, seed rate also the difference uh, it is highest seed rate required for bunch type because uh, uh, in bunch type there is seed dormancy is uh, uh, present there will be required more seed rate and uh, as compared to spreading type and uh, next point that is sowing uh, sowing time that is June to July sowing depth uh, in heavy soil that is 4 to 5 centimeter and in light soil that is 5 to 7 centimeter as the depth of uh, 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 is also varied with the as uh, different uh, as the type of uh, soil in case of say, heavy soil or black soil requires uh, should be shown uh, at uh, 4 to 5 centimeter because of the moisture zone are present at the uh, shallow depth in case of black soil and the light soil that is a uh, moisture zone are present in deeper layers because of these uh, uh, black soils are the deep soil profile and the light soils have the shallow soil profile layer. Then uh, sowing methods uh, for a uh, groundnut that is uh, drilling, dibbling and broadcasting. These are the popular methods for uh, 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 used for the sowing of uh, groundnut. In seed, uh, seed treatment, uh, in groundnut, the seed treatment with 0.1% ethyl or with combination with thyrum 
it helps to improve the germination of seed then thyrum slurry has also the found uh, beneficial in reducing the dormancy uh, by 50% and then also foliar spray of 250 to 1000 ppm of malic hydroxide at 60 and 75 days uh, after sowing induces the seed dormancy and then also seeds are treated with the uh, captain thyrum or dithian m45 at the rate of 3 to 5 kg per, of seeds for the protecting the crop from uh, seed borne as well as soil borne diseases as the seeds are treated with the rhizobium culture that is rhizobium j1 strain has been found uh, superior for increase the number of uh, root nodules and also helps for the uh, increases the atmospheric nitrogen fixation by uh, symbiotically and uh, next one you can see the uh, uh, land preparation as in case of the groundnut the one plowing followed by uh, that is shallow plowing is required for groundnut because the pods will be appear at the shallow layer if the uh, uh, and uh, especially in groundnut the deep plowing is should, uh, should be avoided because to uh, uh, avoid the development of pods at the deeper layers and also the uh, harvesting makes it difficult if the deep plowing is a uh, uh, is a practice that's why the shallow plowing uh, is preferred for a groundnut, especially in the black soil. Uh, uh, then followed by two to three harrowing operations are required to make the ideal seed bed, that is loose or friable seed bed. Then ridges and furrows are uh, and the ridge beds are the better than the flat beds, heavy uh, rainfall ridges because of uh, uh, the in a flat bed there will be the com some of the uh, soil compaction will be occur and there will be uh, difficult to enter the pegs or the entry of pegs in the into the soil and the in the resistant furrow and the ridge beds uh, the uh, ridge uh, the area which uh, the of the uh, ridge will are the porous or loose it will be benefited for easily or better uh, penetration of the pegs and also the ridge beds then prebf this is a technology especially broadbed furrow system method or the method is uh, developed for the uh, especially groundnut uh, cultivation in the vertices or the black soil by the Chris at Hyderabad and generally deep plowing should be avoided as the it increases the development of pods in deeper layers of soil and make harvesting difficult and land should be level to avoid the stagnation of water. Uh, next one uh, that is the uh, uh, varieties uh, you can see here the ground uh, there are different types of varieties of groundnut that is JL24. It is fully pragati, then Girnar, Konkan Tapura, then TG 17, 24, Konkan Gaurav, Kopar Gaurav 1, Kopar Gaurav 3, then TME 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, 9, uh, 6, 8, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then Karada 4 11, GPBD 4, Chandra, then Kisan, CO1, SB 11, Fule Unav, Koina, then Fule Vyas, JL501. TPG 41, Phule Unnati, Phule Bharti, Phule uh, <coughs> Morna, then Phule Dhani, in uh, Varuda also. Uh, you can see the photographs of TPG 41, and then JL501, then Phule Unnati, Phule Dhani, then Phule uh, Varna, then Morna, then Phule Bharti, Koina, Phule Unav, Phule Vyas, and SB11. These are the different uh, varieties uh, are developed by the MPK Viravari. And next one uh, uh, you can see here the cropping systems as uh, we know the crop rotation as the groundnut is a previous crop and it becomes uh, or come in the leguminous family it helpful for the next crop that is in the rabbi that's why you should select the crop in the non legume as uh, in, in uh, rabbi season that is groundnut followed by wheat then groundnut followed by field pea then groundnut followed by lentil then chickpea then uh, maize these are the important uh, crop rotation systems followed in the groundnut field. Then uh, intercropping system, that is the uh, two or more crops are grown simultaneously on the same piece of land uh, over the same period of time with a definite row proportion as is the concept of intercropping system. There are different uh, examples of intercropping systems followed in, a, in groundnut, that is groundnut uh, plus maize, then groundnut plus permalate, and then groundnut plus sorghum, and the groundnut plus uh, Pigeon are the uh, examples of uh, intercropping systems. And the next uh, point uh, that is the recommended dose of uh, fertilizer or nutrient requirement or fertilizer management in groundnut. 
as a groundnut being a leguminous uh, legume or the oic crop it requires the highest dose of uh, nutrients as the demanding nutrient that is sulfur and the phosphorus and then calcium is another important mineral for the groundnut cultivation uh, for the especially the pod yield production uh, and then also the pegs are the uh, in case of the groundnut the pegs are the important uh, part which were the or stage which were uh, major contribution against the absorption of the calcium you can say as the photograph calcium is the absorbed through the pegs not in the through the roots this is a major uh, uh, highlight of the groundnut especially the absorption of calcium through the peg or through the gynophere then a groundnut has the unique characters uh, especially absorbing the 75% sulfur and calcium through the gynophore and they also developing the pods and the, these gynophores are present at the tip of peg uh, next one the you can see here the manures uh, requirement that is 10 to 15 tons of fm or the compost per hectare should be applied at the time of final uh, land preparation or before one month of sowing the recommended dose of fertilizer that is 20 to 40 kg in uh, nitrogen 50 to 60 kg phosphorus 30 to 40 kg potassium per hectare uh, as the for application of this uh, npk that is full dose of npk um, should be applied at the time of sowing in additional uh, application of gypsum uh, at the rate of 10 to 15 kg per hectare at the time of uh, flowering and the pod filling uh, uh, the pod formation stage respectively as the gypsum can supply the sub provides the calcium and sulfur to the crop uh, sulfur also helps to the increases the oil content and the calcium uh, helps for the enhancing the yield of pod and due to the calcium deficiency uh, the causes so uh, in the ground that is popping that popping means the uh, ground uh, pods are without seed or empty or the seed development does not take place in ground nut pod hence it is called as popping uh, due to the calcium deficiency that's why the gypsum can be supplied or applied to at the rate of 10 to 15 ton uh, sorry 10 to 15 kg per hectare at the time of uh, flowering and the pod filling it helps to uh, increase the uh, yield of pod in ground nut and then next one you uh, can see the uh, water management as the ground nut is kharif season crop uh, or if rains are uh, received properly or timely then there is no need of irrigation if rains are delayed or late then should apply irrigation at the critical growth stages such as the early vegetative growth then flowering stage then peak formation this is the very critical or uh, sensitive sensitive stage of groundnut for irrigation you can see here the photographs after the flowering the the now uh, the pollination the the, the process or the stage, stage which will occur that is called as pegging the peg peg is the stalk like structure or hair like structure initially and then afterwards the ovary Uh, has the different parts that is at the tip that is called as gynophore and at the uh, dome shape that is called as the ovary the ovary pushes to the gynophore uh, towards the earth uh, then uh, once if uh, once the pegs uh, <coughs> enter into the soil that is called uh, combined called as the, the pegs the pegs enter into the soil vertically and after uh, enter Uh, once they enter in the soil they takes the horizontal position and they form the pods this is a very critical growth stage of uh, ground nut that is pegging or peg formation then uh, next one that is pod formation stage uh, that is the and then seed formation and then among all stages the pegging or peg formation stage are the critical growth stage of ground nut for the uh, irrigation uh, next one you can see the uh, weed management as the groundnut uh, uh, is a critical period for weed uh, crop weed competition reported to be 28 to 45 days after sowing there is need to be uh, weighing and the weeding operation as the weed ca- cause the considerable reduction in the yield of groundnut at the initial stage then once uh, one or two weeding operations are required for groundnut and then two to three hand weeding operations are required to make a free uh, weed free crop environment as the first hoeing uh, should be done at 3 weeks after sowing and the second hoeing should be done before flowering and the before peg formation because to avoid the damage of uh, pegs uh, that's why the hoeing and the earthing op- operation or any interculture operation should be followed before uh, peg formation and the uh, after flowering and before peg formation this is ideal stage of uh, uh, 
intercultural operations carried out in groundnut. Uh, then uh, weeds can be also controlled by spraying of the herbicide that is like fluchlorine at the rate of 1 kg active ingredient per hectare. That is uh, pendimethyl. This uh, trade name is TAM. And the uh, next one uh, we can see the uh, intercultural operations or intertillage or intercultural op operations followed in the groundnut that is earthing up uh, or the drum rolling. Earthing up uh, that is the, the special type of operations uh, carried out in the uh, groundnut crop and the earthing up operation is done by tying string with the tines of the hoe uh, the, uh, with the help of bridger. The earthing up uh, promotes the uh, easy penetration of pegs uh, into the soil and provides the more area to be spread. Then also provides the support to the plant and control of weeds and also for better uh, aeration or exchange of gases and maintain the optimum uh, soil temperature. Then earthing up operations should be done before the uh, peg formation and after the flowering. This is ideal stage of the groundnut for the uh, carry out the uh, earthing of operation. You can see the photographs of the earthing of operations. The second one, the uh, drum rolling. The rolling uh, an uh, emptied iron drum or the plastic drum with the stones over the crop at uh, 50 or 50 and 70 days after sowing, especially for the bunch type of groundnut because this is a erect type groundnut. You have to be uh, uh, press the crop uh, with the or uh, uh, allow the contact with the soil for better, better entry or penetration of the pegs and for in, uh, ultimately increases the yield of pot. Once the crop growth is uh, erect type, there will be uh, difficult to enter the pegs into the soil. Uh, or the uh, most of the pegs are deformed and there will be affect the yield of pot. That's why the drum rolling is the uh, highly recommended or pre preferred for the especially in groundnut for interculture operations. Uh, then next one uh, uh, we can see the uh, pegging in groundnut. This is a unique characteristics uh, or the stage uh, found in the groundnut. As the most striking character of the groundnut is the uh, it is a manner of flowering and the uh, uh, seed formation. As the flower born at the edges of the leaves. The flowers are self-pollinated. After pollination, the parent uh, withers. Then, uh, after flowering, pegs are form, for, for pig formation takes place. At the base of ovary, a meristematic region grows and become a stalk-like structure that is called as the gynophore. You can see here the photograph. Uh, this is the initial stage, and then afterwards the formation of the pegs. And then, uh, as the growth increases, increases this. Uh, uh, shape and size of these pegs and this is the tip portion that is called as a gynophore and this is back portion uh, dome shape uh, this is the ori the ori pushes to the uh, or force to the uh, gynophore into the or towards the soil uh, are referred as the pegs a gynophore is commonly called as the peg the peg carrying the ori uh, pushes itself into the soil and the uh, it is only after entering the soil uh, that the ovary begin, begins to develop and takes the, uh, the horizontal position. This is a pegging and uh, next one the factors uh, affecting pegging. Uh, the, the number of pegs are higher in bunch type than the spreading type or semi spreading type because of the uh, seed dormancy is uh, uh, present in this uh, spreading type and also the uh, uh, more number of the pegs uh, are of form and the bunch type variety than the spreading type uh, because of the haze growth and the, the, or the spreading type growth. The number of uh, the cultivars of the subspecies of Valencia has the thicker pegs than the species of the Hypogea. Then if the soil moisture drops or reduces the process of pegging uh, may stop and form the pegs may die. Then high intensity uh, light uh, is also affects the pegging. Then minim, daily minimum temperature is positively correlated with the uh, peg formation and the maximum temperature has a negative effect on the pegging. Then early farm flowers may inhibit the development of uh, 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 other flower into pegs. And the next one the pest and disease of uh, groundnut. The first one that is pest, uh, the major pest uh, that is leaf miner, then aphids, then thrips. Uh, then white grub, then the hairy, bear hairy cattle. Among the all pests, uh, the white grub is the major pest because it can feed 
seed material or the uh, bore into the bore the pod pod and the feed on the uh, seed material or the uh, uh, full seed uh, this is a very, very serious space or uh, the major place of ground and for control of this uh, uh, then other place that is uh, feed strips and then uh, leaf miner uh, control with the help of spring the diamethoid at the rate of 200 200 to 300 ml per hectare, then application of forage at the rate of 10 percent granules, then collect and destroy the paste infected plant parts and the spraying of pendosulfa at the rate of 1 liter, 1000 liter of uh, water, as well as the uh, use of silo sticky strap, then ferrumen traps, lead light traps for the control of aphids and in the thrips. Uh, next one uh, that is the uh, diseases. In case of groundnut, there are different diseases. Uh, among the all diseases, the tikka, this one, uh, circular rings, uh, uh, dark brown rings, it is uh, circular uh, rings, which is observed on the leaf, uh, uh, upper lip of the leaf, uh, leaf uh, upper surface of the leaves, uh, and then collar rod, then skerosim rod, then rust. This is a red, red is, uh, spores uh, are uh, formed below the leaf of uh, leaf surface of groundnut. Uh, can be controlled uh, by means of seeds are treated with the thyram or captain at the rate of 3 gram per kg before sowing and grow uh, registered varieties L24, K3. Uh, so they spray the crop with this INA at the rate of 2 gram uh, to 2 kg in 1000 liter of water per hectare. Then spraying of mancozia at the rate of 1 liter, 1000 liter of water uh, per hectare and also collect and destroy the disease affected plant parts. This is a uh, different diseases of uh, groundnut and next one that is the harvesting and yield of groundnut especially in the bunch type variety are harvested within uh, 90 to 110 days and the spreading time that is within uh, 140 to 160 days the signs of maturity for for the before harvesting of groundnut there is yellowing of leaves or uh, at the time of harvesting uh, that is uh, leaves becomes yellow dropping of leaves then color of pod becomes white to brown then color of seed becomes uh, whitish to gray or red in color Pod becomes hard and tough, metallic sound comes when shaking and bre breaking of pod, then dark tannin discoloration inside the cell, then bunch and spreading type of groundnut are harvested by uprooting uh, either by hand or blade, blade harrow and diggers. The spreading type groundnut is harvested by digging out the plants by kurupi spade or diggers. The harvested material should be transferred or thresh, uh, on the threshing floor mill and the spread uni uh, uniformly for drying under sun for two to three days. Then after drying groundnut plants uh, or the groundnut, pods are separated from the plants and the pods are cleaned properly. That is loose soils uh, should be removed and dried under sun for two to three days. After drying the pods, the seeds are separated from pod and they stored in guinea bags. And, uh, uh, in case of groundnut, the bunch type uh, uh, yield is uh, to uh, obtain that is the 15 20 quintals per hectare and the spreading type that is 25 to 30 quintals per hectare. This is the today's topic about the crop production technology of uh, groundnut or the cultivation practices of uh, groundnut crop. Thank you.